Hi. <laughs> Hi. It has been, well, I was just watching my videos and the last time I uploaded was eight months ago. I've tried to film this video so many times already and it has just been so hard to film because my partner always calls me or like I just get too scared to film it and I like freak out and yeah. But this is a get ready with me, also a life update kind of thing and everything like that. I'm going to just get on with it because otherwise I'm just going to be here rambling. So, first of all, new life update, I've got hair extensions put in. So these are 22 inch hair extensions and I love them. So if you do see where they're put in my head, you probably will. Let me just get off this up. Because I also got a fringe. That's a new thing as well. <laughs> I got a fringe. My hair is currently still wet because I put a conditioning treatment in it last night. I've been putting a lot of heat on it. I hate these thick hair bands with it. They're the only ones that keep my hair up. Like obviously, when it's in like this. Uh, yeah, I put a lot of heat on it recently, so I just thought that I would like give it some conditioning treatments because it's better. So, first of all, I just want to say hi. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel if you're still wanting to be on my channel. I don't know, I guess it's quite weird just being back here and like obviously sitting in front of a camera and talking. Uh, I don't know if you can know but I'm going to start with the brown pomade in Revolution, uh, Makeup Revolution in Soft Brown. I now do my eyebrows first. A lot of people are probably going to be like, you never used to do that. I do now. It's a weird thing that I started doing. I do my eyebrows. I'm gonna like have to cut down here quickly because I can't do my eyebrows far away. But yeah, how have you guys been? How have you not been and everything like that? I have been lost. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've been in one of my happiest moments of my life. I have finally found someone that I now know how to be treated. <laughs> I mean, we go through our rough patches, but it's something that I'm like settled in a relationship and I love it because my whole dream is just in, to be settled in a relationship with someone. Oh, I hate doing my eyebrows. Because I was watching one of my old videos, my eyebrows are like proper chunky. I know I do them really thin, but it doesn't seem like it at the moment because my brush, when you wash your brush, I like to keep my brush really thin, but when I don't, when I wash it and everything, it goes really like flat. Also, another fun fact about me, I don't do makeup lunch anymore. I'm only doing this because I'm bored and I want to talk. <laughs> I just wanted to like have an update with you guys and obviously talk to you guys about things and like where I am in my life. Well, that looks a pile of shit. I don't know, that bad. <laughs> I give up with my eyebrows, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on my life because I think like, the last time you saw me was obviously the Cypress vlog, which I didn't really talk much in that, and any other time it was just the welcome back kind of thing, and I was like, not where I am now. I'm like, but it's, I don't know, it's hard. I was just watching my old videos, and it really made me miss this thing. I don't know if you could also tell background change <laughs> there's been a lot of changes in like my room i also got a new chair it is very like not a squeaky but it is like if you can hear it you can hear it but i got a new chair <laughs> finally but that famous white squeaky chair that was in all of my videos every single one has finally gone partner with wine with weed um i've been here with him for a year now a year and one month this month on the 16th funny fact he actually asked me out the day before my birthday so our anniversary is the 16th of august and my birthday is the 17th of august it's really annoying but it's also good at the same time because if like our one year comes like we always get each other like small gifts like for this year we got small gifts like he got me 
this paw on my bracelet for our anniversary and then I also got him a like because where he drives and everything I got him an air freshener uh, which had photos of us on it and a little like key change um, had Nicole I don't really want to say his name because I don't know if he wants to be on here Nicole and his name and our date on there so that's cute and then I have his name and he has mine I love it it's cute it is just it is just a really good relationship like I know in the past I've had like proper bad relationships like oh my Christ I have had bad relationships like any of my friends watching this right now can I just I know I just go mm-hmm they just know that I've just had a really bad time with relationships and everything I'm just gonna cut my eyebrows out with the Juvia's Palace um, JP02 small definer brush which just looks like that at the end and then I'm just using the uh, Makeup Revolution conceal and define a uh, little concealer in I think this is C1 but yeah I know my friends are like shaking their heads at me like yeah we know girl we know it's a lot of like my family really like him and his family, his family really likes me and I feel like with a relationship that is the best is when like your both your families really like each other but yeah his family really get along with me I get along with his family and he gets along with mine really, really well it's just he's just really good like he is just the male version of me it's just what it is <laughs> but yeah he is really amazing and like it's just good I love it yeah hopefully in the near future there will be like family vlogs I'm not saying I'm pregnant by the way I'm not I'm just saying I really want to start a family vlog channel with him if we did have kids but well, we are gonna have kids but like with him I really want to start it because I feel like that would just be amazing and that's just always been one of my dreams so I just love it <laughs> this new thing in my like makeup I like to put on a bit of cream contour before and after I've done my foundation don't know why it's weird just want to put a little bit on my cheek also I'm very pale at the moment I know and I am gonna put on I am gonna do the old 2000 look of the orange neck. No, I'm just gonna blend it down and I'm gonna wear a jumper today. By the way, this is my pyjamas. I didn't get ready for this. I'm just gonna wear my pyjamas today. So, like, talk to you guys about things that's happened in my life. Not much has happened except from, like, obviously, like, getting a boyfriend and, like, actually settling down with him and everything like that. It's just. I don't know. It's weird things. I also, you don't know if you've seen that this hand or not, but I also got a promise ring from him. Do not mind my tan. Honestly, it's so bad. I got a promise ring from him. So, funny story how that happened. I was kept telling about him. I was like, I really want a promise ring. Went, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, no. I want one. Like, I really do want one because obviously we's, we've been very set for a while. And he was like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Someone's just come out. One of my neighbours. Hello, John. It's probably not his name. It probably is his name. I've just said it as a joke. Um, I was like, yeah, yeah, I really want one. He was like, yeah, yeah, all right. And I can't like, shut up about it. And then we went, we was down chatting. I'm going to use the matte base, uh, pure below full coverage foundation from Revolution in F10. Which is too dark for me right now. But we don't care. I don't care. Um, yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah, alright, Nicole. Um, also using a unicorn. <laughs> but alright, Nicole, don't like, it's grand, don't care. And then um, we were walking past Warren and James in the Pentagon. Down chatting where I live. Well, I don't know in chatting, but yeah. And I was like, oh my god, look at this ring, isn't it gorgeous? And he was like, yeah, 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 it is. And I went, oh, let me just get my ring size. Because I don't know it for this finger. Well, I do in Pandora. But I don't in, obviously, Warren and James. And they do um, letters like we do in Argos. Still work for Argos, by the way, guys. That's fun. Said I'd leave after a year. 
still there two years later. Um, yeah, got my size and everything. And we asked for the price, and she said it was ten pounds. I was like, what the hell? And I said to him, I was like, well, what would you want to do? Do you want to get it now? Because you don't know if it's going to be at this price again. And I really like this ring. <laughs> and he went, yeah, get it. Because the price it was, was just ridiculous. Like, it was mental. For $9.99, I've still got the receipt. For $9.99, for a ring that should have been £40, is amazing. Because it said at the bottom of the receipt, you saved £30, like... Yeah, like it was something like 30 odd quid on this and it was 40 pounds for each, me? 40 quid for a ring. Takes the purse. Bear in mind, we've got rings in our store that are like 100 to 500. That's the only thing with this sponge, I just can't get in the creases. You probably then just use the horn bit. I don't like using the horn bit around my head. I just. I hope this foundation looks really orange on me right now. I don't know why. Because normally this looks like. A half decent not this orange I think it's just oxidized really bad in the tube and I think as well because we're really pale and I'm putting on a foundation that is just too dark for me it's the old life that I do still it's really like, funny how that happened but yeah he I didn't force him into it maybe because well you technically just forced him into that like no he wanted to get it and I just said to him well we're not going to get this bargain again I also said to him that he could keep it from me for about six months um well no I think it was like four months into our anniversary and he said no you keep it now that's what I can talk about a battle that I'm having with the old hair extensions that I bought and I will show him on camera as well because I've still got them I got these hair extensions from, I've got to drive the company because they've been an absolute lot of words. Market hair extensions, I got them from there because they're the only company that did blue hair because I thought if I buy blue hair it would be easier. So the blue that they had on their website is this blue which I can show you on my phone. It's the blue that they had on their website and was showing us like a baby blue and everything like that and I was like oh yeah perfect match it would do really good for my hair took so long to come bearing in mind and then we finally realised that now like, I've got everything that is from China so that's why it took so long even though it's meant to be express shipping these are the hair this is the hair that I received very much dark blue green which does not match my hair at all so I had to I even tried dyeing my hair this is what my hair is now I dyed that to a different colour and it still was like too much uh, it was um, I ended up ordering hair off Amazon blonde hair dyeing it which is longer and much thicker than what I ordered there uh, for like a couple of pounds like a couple of pennies more and um, I've still got hair left over from when she did it. And I, um, I've i got like a card thing that says like, return if you want to, hassle free, just ask us for the post service. Like the address to return them, so I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, also using Jeffree Star, Magic Star in C11. Um, I was like, yeah, yeah, cool, I'll do that. I'll like return them and everything. I meshed them straight away. And all they kept doing was trying to sell me, like, to keep the hair, just dye the hair, dye the hair, dye the hair. And I was like, no, I don't want to dye the hair because I've already got hair. I don't need it anymore. And bear in mind, I've had my hair put in for about a month now. So for that to keep happening, it was, oh, it was so bad. I just wanted to, like, kill them. I ended up putting a dispute through with PayPal. They ended up closing the case and putting it towards them, saying that I was in the wrong, and that it's what they've what they've offered me is fine, and I should take their offer. And I was like, no. So I contacted PayPal. I contacted PayPal yesterday, so this is how like recently this is still happening. So I contacted PayPal and was like, look, they're in the wrong. I don't think you should close this case. Um, I need my money back because they wasn't like giving me the money because you need to get a postal service to obviously get the refund 
and they wasn't giving me the postal service they firstly offered me 20 percent which was two pound 51 uh, 21 pound 51 of what they offered me of what i paid and i was like how to the no i'm not taking back 21 pound 50 from two uh, 106 pounds 50 that i paid i've had to memorize this number so much that i just know it now off by heart like no, I'm also just using a bit of the Makeup Revolution concealer again, just to because I'm running out of Magic Star that I just use it just to put a bit more coverage on. And it is just like it is mental. It was just not they wasn't having it until I got the return address today, and I'm not returning them until they actually say I'm fully 100% getting my money back because they keep trying to offer me 10% and 20%. I'm like no, I don't want to keep the the hair you know and they're like yeah just keep it just keep it i'm like no i don't want to keep the hair like i just want my money back and they were just being like oh, i was about it and paypal said to me to get my bank involved and i got involved with my bank and then they told me to call back within three hours i was like oh my life like, I just want my money back you know but now the company have said that I can actually have my money back. Well, I'm waiting for them to like agree to have my money back, so I can like just get my money back. You know, like it's just been crazy. Just trying to blend out this concealer. It's like honestly, when I received Magic Star, it was amazing. But it is very full coverage. I'm not like I'm really doing like, a really bad review on it or nothing because who am I to give? It? any bad reviews because I love Jeffree Star. Um, it does give me full coverage, but I'm the type of girl I like mine thick, like really thick. So I don't know if that's just I've just got a bad batch or what. I just like mine really thicker and more full, and it just wasn't giving me that. But it's good concealer. I still use it, I think, because I paid a lot of money for it. But right, back with the pro girl. But yeah. So that was fun. Still battling them. I'm just asking them now, like, am I getting like the full refund? Because I really don't trust them at all right now. They keep telling me to go for a postal service. I'm like, no, just give me back my money. I'm going through the Royal Mail because like I ain't paying ridiculous amount. They're still wanting me to pay for postage. To post it out like why should I have to pay to send it off some hair that you got wrong I also like to use a stippling brush I've had this stippling brush oh my god ever since my channel started I don't know if you guys remember but I used to use this for my foundation and then my bronzer and now I'm back to using it for cream contour I've kept this brush for many many years and you're probably thinking ew that's dirty I wash it, don't worry, I sanitise it, but it's just a really good brush and it's a stippling brush from Wilkinson's because you go back on a budget there, which still is now. Like, don't know what happened there, but it just stopped recording. I'm going for a reading on Saturday with this psychic woman and I'm really excited to go because this woman said to my mother-in-law that um, me and um, her son. I'm gonna have a little kid and <laughs> I'm gonna have a surprise at, kiss at Christmas. We're gonna have a nice Christmas surprise apparently and I was like oh gosh. <laughs> but at the time it happened it was just so like out of the blue. I'm just gonna chuck it on here. It was so like out of the blue like we didn't realise she would say that we was gonna have a kid or nothing. We, she just wanted to like go because she is very like psychic herself this is look she's very really, like a psychic woman herself and like, after she like read me and my partner and everything like this is his mum because like i said she's like very psychic and everything herself what has happened to my nose she is like very psychic herself so she was like reading us and everything and it was like we did you have to she does it through cards and um we did like questions and everything and my question was like about obviously the kid like are we gonna have one are we not it's weird is it saying this year christmas <laughs> i'm like i can't afford 
and have a child on my hands right now because I've got like, you know, my godson and my niece. I like spoil them loads. So that's obviously gonna change. But yeah, she said it's gonna be a surprise, but um, I'm gonna be more happy. About it. He's obviously gonna be happy about it, but he's also gonna be like scared, which he at the moment is very like scared. Cause every time we have like, brought up like a kid or something, he's like, no, not right now. Because obviously he's like in a position where he hasn't really got like much money at the moment. So it's more hard for him. Because obviously like he wants to be able to support us and everything. Which I was like yeah, fair enough. Fair dues, John. Um, but yeah, it's very like a hard stressful moment at the moment. <laughs> but everybody wants us to have one like except from my mum obviously. She's, she says to me that she's like, I want you to have one. She went, but I want you to be ready, which I think every parent is like that. But like we was trying, we was talking about and everything. And I feel like my mother-in-law wants one, and so does my mum. But I think they're just like my mother-in-law is happy. But like I think when it's your own child, you're gonna be more scared because I've already said like if I ever get pregnant, obviously my mum's gonna be there with me because my mum is like my best friend. <laughs> And I don't like have anybody else. Obviously, I haven't like the rest of my family, but like um, the person that I trust the most in my life is obviously my mum. And um, I would never like ever not have her in the room. And my mother in law was like, Yeah, but where am I going to be? And I was like, You can be out, like, I was like, You can be right outside the door whenever you want. I was like, But my mum is like, the first person like there on the list and everything for like obviously like birthing part obviously it'd be like my partner with me but I'd obviously have my mum there because you can have two people I'd want my mum definitely I'd be like I'd cry and want my mum anyway so I know what I'm like I'd be like mummy I'm like I'm worse as well so I think like my mum that's also like she's like I didn't need the needle, I knew this. It's not happened yet, is it mum? <laughs> but I know my mum will be happy. She said like she wants me if I did have a good luck. It's all gonna be on me, like she would help me at a certain time, but she's like, it's not on you. Your fault, your life, you do it. Like she's very one of them. But I know when that baby comes she'll be like, come on! I just know her, but I know she also teach me a lesson. A very much well taught lesson. Oh, I forgot to show you. Also, the powder that I'm using is Makeup Revolution in lace and I think it's lace. I have no clue. It is in baking finish for the white one, which I use under my eyes, around my cheek, and then also in banana. Exact same powder, but just in different shades for the contour and everything like that. Also, where I've got lash extensions, it's also really hard to do makeup as well. But I like it. Oh my god, I did my sister in law's makeup. Doing, she had lash extensions now. Doing lash extension makeup of someone else is so hard because I didn't have much of my equipment. So I was probably struggling. I was like, <laughs> I didn't know what to use. It was like really like annoying. Right, next I'm gonna use bronzer and this is one of my new favourites. This is Doe Gimme Sun and I'm using it in medium. It looks like that. This is one of my new babies. Also another bronzer which is amazing is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer and the uh, Mislin Ohola All Day Beach Please, which that one is in Ohola All Day, I guess is the shade, but that's also really good. But this is just a nice, I feel like this one on me is more like orangey toned, but I think that's just me being weird in this light. I'm also meant to be seeing my partner today, if that's going to happen with me not hurrying up. And I'm using a unicorn brush set from Primark and the other brush that I used for my powder was the Spectrum A01. Right, then all time fave 
for a bit of contour is the Benefit Huda Bronzer and I use the uh, GVS Palace uh, JP01 Tapered Blending Brush for this. I just put it in the creases but yeah I'm really happy to be back because I love filming and I feel like I want to get into it more and I want to like obviously show off my partner and everything and I hopefully like I wish we like we went to Heron Bay I'll put in some pictures here obviously if he allows me to Um, we went to Han Bay for our one year and I honestly wish we filmed I filmed it because it was so amazing and really good there. We did a lot of like fun adventures and it was really fun, even though it was just like a little day break, like two day getaway. It was really nice and I loved it. I wish we could do it again. Like that is definitely one of like my fave places to go with him. It's definitely there. I don't know what highlight is. I just wanna use I don't know what to use, I might just use this one. Right, but yeah, I wish I filmed it and I'm gonna see if you will allow me to put photos up of it. Next, I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frosted Ice Cold. As you can tell, I've hit pan on it already. I love it so much. And I'm gonna use the Spectrum. Doesn't have a name. It's just a Spectrum brush, it's that one. <laughs> it doesn't have a number on this one. Don't know why. Yep, and I'm just gonna, I love. Jeffree Star highlighters, I think they're amazing. I don't think there's a highlighter that could beat this one. I really want to get his set of powders and I also want to get the Juvia's Palace. Um, yeah, Juvia's Palace. Juvia's Palace uh, foundation, concealer and set powder and her loose highlighters. Oh, I, I already said to mum that I want to get them for Christmas but then I also don't know if I can wait that long. I like want them now. I was meant to like order them for my birthday from myself. I forgot. <laughs> you probably think obviously don't like them that much. I'm gonna chuck a bit of uh, just a bit of like a soft like brown colour in my crease uh, just to give it a bit of like a bit of brown no, I just like a little bit of brown in this it's got a brown in here also my new favourite baby the jaw baker palette from Jeffree Star oh it's just gorgeous this palette I love it but I don't like brown in that one I also got blue blood <laughs> I love it do you know what I'm going to chuck a bit of celebrity skin in my crease a little bit Great YouTuber. Bit of celebrity skin in my crease. I'm just using a really big fluffy brush. This is from Amazon. It's like a whole like makeup set from Amazon. I just want to blend that in my crease. And just blend. I'm legit just putting that in my crease and then just a bit of inner corner highlight. Crystal Flesh, which is that shade there in my inner corner and on my brow bone because this colour is to die for. Oh, I've got a right mouth. I'm going to use the Mega Slim Ski Mascara from Wet n Wild. I don't really like this mascara. I've got to admit. But I just use it quickly just to get my eyelashes. Like, so they're a bit noticeable when I put another mascara on. But I don't know. There's just something about this mascara. I don't know if it's because I've got really stubby little lashes. But I'm just going to chuck on some e.l.f. Um, mascara. It's gone from the back. I can't remember which one it is, but I know it's in Super Drunk, so it's been good. Look at the difference from my bottom lashes from that one to this one. It's just really simple. I have honestly missed you guys, and I really want to get back into this. So what I think I'm going to do is when I feel like it, I'm going to post. And when I don't feel like it, I'm not going to post. But I really do miss you guys. I'm going to just 
chuck my hair in a plait because it is just a mess today and I really can't be asked to deal with it but I really do miss you guys and I do love you guys and thank you so much for always sticking by me and dealing with me and everything so thank you so much love you all and I am gonna get going so I hope you enjoyed my kind of like updated makeup look kind of thing what I kind of like to do if I want to put makeup on I've now been like an hour <laughs> so I'm gonna get going and I'm gonna go see my partner if he does allow me to put photos in or put his name in you will be able to see him so thanks so much guys give it a thumbs up and a comment down below if you want to see more videos or anything like that and hit the subscribe button because I want to make a comeback but I just want to obviously make sure I'm doing it for the right reasons bye guys <laughs>